I should have planned the thumbnail beforehand, silly me. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with my September favorites for 2018. I have a couple of things that I want to talk about so without further ado let us get started. So I guess the first thing I usually talk about are experiences. I got to meet a sloth. I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do if you've been here on my channel for a while, but I love sloths. I relate to them so much. I just think they're the cutest animals. So I got to go meet a sloth. I have I have a picture of it over here if you want to see me pretty much close to tears. We have like an animal reptile sanctuary thing in Hamilton where I live. It's called Little Ray's Reptiles and they have a sloth. Her name is Chloe and she is just the cutest thing ever. We weren't allowed to touch them because their immune systems are so weak, so we didn't want to make them sick, but you got to take a picture with it, you got to stand beside her, talk to the person who was in charge of her, and I just pretty much cried <laughs> because I was so excited about it, but that was definitely a novel experience for me, and I just love him. I just love him so much. The next thing I usually talk about are movies that I loved this month. This month I went to go see A Simple Favor with my mom. It's the new movie with Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively and it was so good. Apparently it's based off of a book. I haven't read the book but the movie version of it was so well done. I love Anna Kendrick and I love Blake Lively so them together in a movie was like big highlight for me but they act so well together and th just their chemistry on film was so well done and I did not see half of the twists and turns coming. I was able to call like the big thing that happened but it still was just such an enjoyable movie so if you guys haven't seen it yet I highly recommend it. Also Blake Lively in pantsuits so can't go wrong really. The next thing I'm going to talk about is some clothing that I've been loving this month. The first clothing item I'm going to talk about is what I'm currently wearing. It is an Eeyore onesie. Eeyore is my favorite Winnie the Pooh character and I'm six feet tall so usually onesies do not fit me. This is an extra large and it fits me perfectly. I am obsessed with it. It is so warm and fuzzy and I cannot wait to wear it around all the time. I also love that it has little ears. It also has a tail, which I mean, I could stand up and show you, but I don't know, is that weird? I'd be shaking my butt for the camera, which we ain't gonna do, but it has a tail with a little bow on it like Eeyore has, and I just, so warm and cozy and I just love it so much. The next clothing item I have are a pair of like sleep shorts that I have been literally wearing every single day as soon as I get home. I take my regular you know, normal daytime pants off and put on these sleep shorts because they are so comfortable. I got them from the thrift store for like two dollars and they are like a staple in my life now. They are so soft and cozy and they have pockets which like, I mean, you don't really need for sleeping but it's very useful for when you wake up in the morning and like stumble downstairs to make coffee. You can put your phone in your pocket and you don't have to, you know, put in your waistband like I usually would. But yeah, these have been definitely a huge favorite for me. Oh. Now, on to food, obviously, because this wouldn't be a favorites video of Jay's without food. Obviously, it's junk food because, you know, junk food is where it's at. So the first are peanut butter M&Ms. I have been in love with peanut butter M&Ms this month. I'll have like five or six every time I lie down to read my book with my coffee. I'm trying to control myself and not eat like the entire package at one sitting, so we're limiting ourselves to like five or six every time. They're so much better than like the peanut M&Ms in my opinion. I don't know what it is. I Maybe it's just that they're softer. I just personally like them way better. Then, these cookies are incredible. I only see them every like once in a while in the grocery store so whenever I do I jump on them and need them but they are Chips Ahoy coconut chocolate chunk cookies. They are so addictive. I personally like crunchier cookies. My mom and me were discussing this the other day and she likes softer ones but 
in my opinion, the crumblier the better. And these are like super crumbly. And you just get like the aftertaste of the coconut, which is one of my favorite flavors, and chocolate and coconut. Just, mm. I mean, like, this should not be a surprise because I raved about the chocolate covered coconut almonds the other month. I don't, I think it was like two months ago, but still staple in my life. These cookies, if you ever see them in your local grocery store, I highly recommend you pick them up because they're delicious. The next thing I usually talk about are like miscellaneous objects, items that I've been loving this month. So I have two things this month and the first I am so excited about when I saw it in the store and my mom said she would buy it for me. I like squealed like a little girl, but it is this Hocus Pocus. Yes, Hocus Pocus water bottle. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time ever invented. And we went into the Spirit Halloween shop to try to find like the three Sanderson sisters Funko Pop thing that's out right now. And we couldn't find them, but they had this water bottle and it says Winifred's classic line, oh look another glorious morning makes me sick. And it says Hocus Pocus on the back, but I just love it so, so much, and I was so excited when my mom bought it for me. So thank you, mom. You're a favorite, as always. And the final thing that I have to show you guys is a monthly, yearly planner, week-by-week -week thingy that I got. I always get one every year, and this year's features kitty cats. And I love kitty cats, so I was super excited when I found this. I either got it from Marshalls or Winners here in Canada, like, they're they're the same company, okay? Marshalls and Winners. I'm pretty sure they're even like owned by the same company. But the point is, from one of those places. I'm like super not artistic or anything like that. So like the whole idea of like bullet journals, I'm never going to be able to do that. So I always just get a monthly yearly planner thing because I'm not artistic, like I said. But I pretty much just have like my work schedule in here. I have like articles that I have to read for my classes right now for university and then I also like write down the lectures there's like nine more weeks of lectures Blah. I also have been writing down like things I need to do for that week and that's pretty much all I put in here doctor's appointments things like that like I'm not exciting as a person but I love it just because kitty cats. And then my final favorite part of these favorite videos are when I get to show you the songs that I've been loving this month and lip sync very, very poorly to them. So I have one song this month. I know I haven't really been doing the whole song thing in my favorite videos for a while because I've just been listening to Sam Smith, Taylor Swift, and John Bellion, but I found this new song and I've been loving it so much. So it's called Bound to You by Jocelyn Alice. She's the one who sang Jackpot. That was like the only other song I've ever heard from her. But then this was on the radio and I was just like, <gasps> I love it. So here it is. I just love that song. I find it so catchy and every time it comes on the radio I just get super happy and pumped so. Alright guys so those are my favorites for the month of September. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites for this month and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!